I'm here to talk about a special one today. A simple masterpiece I recently discovered. Spirited Away. Now, to be honest, I'm not really a big, huge anime fan. I didn't really grow up watching the shows or movies a whole lot. I mean, I watched some. I like The Secret World of Arietti and Batman Gotham Knights and a few others, but honestly, I wouldn't really consider myself a fan. And because of that, because I never really got into it much, I missed out on probably one of the greatest movies of all time. I missed it for 20 years. Never even heard of it until a few weeks ago from a friend of mine. And after I saw it, I wondered, how did I go most of my life without ever seeing this? Spirit of the Way is a work of magic that you shouldn't go without seeing in life. Magical is a word often used in films like these, but this one really does deserve it. It's visually stunning and filled with some of the most imaginative characters I've ever seen. It's almost as if every young child in Japan did a wacky drawing and the creators put all these characters into a movie. It's not really something you see up today. It's beautiful to look at, it's scary and it's weird, but it's also sweet. The movie tells the story of Chihiro, a 10 year old little girl who while moving to a new city discovers an old abandoned amusement park with her parents. After her parents eat some cursed food and turn into pigs, Jairo takes a job working in a bathhouse to find a way to free herself and her parents and return to the human world. To be honest, with how I eat, I probably would have turned into a pig too because I wouldn't even think to resist food like that, especially if I was hungry. Y'all should see some of the plates I make for myself when I'm hungry. Yeah. No doubt in my mind I would have turned into a pig. Anime food be looking so good. And I'm totally matching the parents' energy in this, especially the dad. The way he's picking things to eat while talking, how happy he is, uh, just getting the food. Not even eating it yet, just getting the food. Is so, that's how I'd be. I can totally relate to that. Don't worry. You've got daddy here. He's got credit cards and cash. Mm. Mm. Hero, you have to try this. It's so tender. Mustard? Thank you. The more the story plays out, the more this character grows on you. Her arc is incredibly well done. From a scared little kid to an adult-minded warrior, really, Helping others, facing her fears, by the end she's a self-sufficient and self-aware young girl who realizes that the problems of moving to a new school in a new city is nothing compared to the real challenges of growing up. This movie, it's a superhero story, it's a love story, it's a wild thriller that borrows elements from everything else and somehow is still its own thing. It's something, honestly, I wish I saw when I was younger. Because there are scenes in the movie that I feel like if I had watched when I was younger, it, they would have had more of a, uh emotional impact on me. If I had watched this movie when I was like maybe 12, 14 or younger, definitely would have cried while watching this. Because it does get sad. This girl is 10 years old in a strange world without her parents. She doesn't know who she can really trust. She just wants to go home. I love this movie. I love Chihiro so much, in fact, that I recently got her tattooed on my arm. It still kind of hurts, but it was worth it. This is definitely one of my favorite movies by far. I love it. I love all the characters. Except for No Face. I, I don't like that thing. I'm 21 years old, and I can say that that whatever he is, that thing creeps me out. No Face honestly is by far the scariest thing I've ever seen in an animated cartoon history. Like out of all the cartoons I've ever seen. Dude honestly could star on Courage the Cowardly Dog or something. I really don't like him. He's got kind of a Michael Myers quality to him. The way he just stands there and stalks Chihiro and stuff like that. It, it's just creepy. He's creepy. He's creepy. But yeah. I love this movie. Obviously, this movie gets a 10 out of 10 for me. It is great. Great storytelling, great characters that you really care about. Music that's really comforting and leaves you feeling different. I listen to this soundtrack all the time. This movie just really did everything right. And I did a little research online and it turns out that Spirited Away is actually the highest grossing 
movie in Japanese history. It made more money than Titanic and Avatar. That says something. I can see why so many people like this movie. Like, I think I can say that saying Spirited Away is a good movie is a fact. I don't think that's an opinion. But yeah, I can't believe I went my entire childhood without ever seeing this movie. It, I can't believe it. Um, it's a really great movie. Kids will love it, but I think adults can appreciate it more. I'll certainly treasure it forever. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely a gem. Guys, if you haven't seen Spirited Away or you just want to watch it again, if you've not seen it in a really long time and you want to watch it for free, all you got to do is go to SoapToday.com. That's how I saw it. Uh, you can watch it for free right now. It's the best website to watch literally any movie, any TV show for free. Um, never pay for movies again. Yeah, but yeah, this movie's a really good one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and comment down below what you like about Spirit Away. Comment anything. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.